Welcome. I'm Dr. Jeffrey Horbar, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you to a night at Fendika, an evening of extraordinary Ethiopian music and dance sponsored by Vermont Oxford Network, a worldwide collaboration of health professionals caring for newborn infants and their families, where I serve as president and CEO. The Fendika Cultural Center in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, is an internationally renowned venue for music and dance, a meeting place for artists and musicians from around the world. But it is so much more. Fendika, under the visionary leadership of Malaku Belay, is artists joining together in common purpose to serve the community and the cause of social justice. In this unprecedented time of global pandemic, that has so clearly exposed and magnified the shameful inequities and horrific injustices so deeply ingrained in our societies, let us take inspiration from the performers and staff at Fendika, recognizing that each of us, regardless of our profession, can be an agent for change. This idea informs the energy and excitement we will experience together during our night at Fendika. It's now my pleasure to bring to the stage Dr. Danielle Eret, Director of Global Health at Vermont Oxford Network, who will introduce our program. Danielle? Thank you, Dr. Harbar. I am thrilled to participate in this evening's concert as we celebrate our strength and solidarity as a community during these difficult times. It is only fitting that this event is hosted by the Fendika Cultural Center, a place that welcomes everyone and feels like a home to many in Addis Ababa. And tonight we have the honor of welcoming Fendika into our homes across the globe. As the Director of Global Health for Vermont Oxford Network, one of my proudest days was celebrating the first anniversary of the Ethiopian Neonatal Network with friends and colleagues at Fendika. Even in difficult times, our resilient teams of neonatal nurses and physicians continue to share stories of challenges and successes, strive for improvement, and our inspirational agents of change. Although we are physically distanced, we are celebrating our desire to emerge from this pandemic stronger as neonatal care providers, family members, community members, friends, and global citizens. To help fuel that strength and solidarity, we have a healthy dose of enthusiasm and passion to share with you this evening. Thank you all for joining us. It is my great pleasure to introduce the producer for this evening's concert, Dr. Thomas Eusterbrook, a neonatologist from Oakland, California, who has worked closely with our medical and nursing colleagues in Ethiopia for many years, and who is an ardent friend and supporter of the Ethiopian arts community. With the artistic direction of Malaku Belay, the brilliant dancer, social justice activist, founder, and leader of Fendika, we are proud to present a night at Fendika. Hello, and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining our program. I'm Thomas Eusterbrock, a neonatologist in Berkeley and Oakland in California. And I'm also a member of the Vermont Oxford Network's global health team. And through that, I came to Ethiopia the first time about eight years ago, and I've been there many times since then. Apart from work, I believe listening to live music is one of the best ways to get a better understanding of a foreign culture. About six years ago, an Ethiopian friend introduced me to Fendika, a cultural arts center in Kazanches, in the heart of old Addis Ababa. And what an experience that was. An incredible mix of people from so many places, different cultures, ethnicities, languages, taste in clothing, food, drink, music, dance, quite unforgettable. Beyond all that, as a foreigner, I very much appreciated of being warmly welcomed by everyone at the Fendika. And in the meantime, the center has become my Ethiopian home away from home. It's a truly multicultural center for the arts and the artists. Over the years, I became a close friend to its creator and heart, Melaku Belai. 
In Ethiopia, he wouldn't need any introduction. Everyone seems to know him. I found out that he is an Ethiopian treasure who has received multiple national and international awards and toured with the most famous musicians worldwide. Yet, he is one of the most humble and down-to-earth people you could meet. So it is a great honor for me to introduce you to my friend Melaku. Thank you very much, dear Tom. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm uh, happy and uh, I'm lucky to know you. And uh, for me, is an, uh, I don't have enough word. And dear Thomas, and uh, amazing to know you. And through you, I'm amazing to know Jeff, Daniela, all the friends. And I'm very happy. And uh, in my work is I'm a dancer uh, in a Fandika. Uh, so Fandika is dear Tom, he said uh, everything. I don't know, so I'm trying my best uh, what I love. And I'm a dancer and Fandika is a, a painting a gallery and uh, Asmari poetry and uh, jazz and visual arts. So all artist community in uh, Fandika. So uh, that's what we try to, to do it. And uh, yeah, and uh, w nice to meet you all. And I'm, I'm happy a little to uh, show you highlight of Fandika, what it look like and blessed to know you all. Melaku and his group Ethio Color had planned to play at a event of the Vermont Oxford Network in Vermont in September of this year as part of a tour through the United States. But due to COVID-19, this as well as several other tours through Asia and Europe had to be cancelled. Instead, with the support of many individual donors as well as of the Vermont Oxford Network, Milaku started a series of live recordings streamed online. And tonight we would like to share some of that with you. Now, music is not just music. It exists in and uh, is shaped by and experienced in an environment. And tonight we would also like to share some of that environment with you. Even though due to COVID-19, one important aspect is missing, that of the live audience. So tonight, you have to be that audience. So imagine it's Friday night and you get a cab to the Fendika. Welcome to Fendika Cultural Center, Fendika's families. Uh, today, after COVID-19, uh, the, the difference is uh, we have to washing clothes. Uh, yeah, like this. <laughs> I mean, you know it. So it's like a new fashion. So welcome. So you know Fendika, the family. Now I will introduce you. In Hi, how are you? My name is Foyenia Safa. Welcome to Fendika Cultural Center. Here is, uh, you can introduce yourself. Hello everybody, welcome to Fandika. My name is Masai Ababai or Masai Ababai. Welcome. Yeah, he is a sound man and a waiter, drummer, a dancer, is everything of Fandika. So uh, this way we welcoming here in Fandika. Now a little bit darker, but so when we have a concert, all this area, people is here, and so inside the venue is inside. People also see it from outside into inside. So is this artist community? Here is I will bringing you outdoors, uh, Fendika Bar. So she is the spirit of Fendika. Please introduce yourself. Thank you. My name is Nawetwa Dasadik. Welcome Fendika Cultural Center. Yeah, she is a dancer, a waiter, cashier, and everything. So this is a fendika. So like this, 
We use New Calypso's tree campfire as a, this way with this. So here I'm introducing you. My name is Pedro Alonso. Welcome to Antica. Yeah, he's a waiter. Also, he's starting dancing. He's uh, and managing everything. And uh, so here in Antica, there is no difference. Everything is everybody's doing everything. My first impression of the Fendica was that of these two gentlemen, Melaku and his brother Marcelo, standing behind a stack of LP covers, DJing, dancing, laughing, and playing fantastic Ethiopian music, mostly old style. And now, I hope you enjoyed his 60s and 70s Ethiopian jazz, and I hope you enjoyed it. Wasn't that great? Almost live music. Many of our listeners are likely not familiar with Ethiopian music and even less likely familiar with the instruments played. So I took an instrumental song and highlighted some sections to give you an idea about each instrument played and Belaku can explain a little more. If your color we choice, we playing these five instruments. One of is uh, from bamboo, uh, flutes, we call it washant. It's an amazing uh, playing. The second one, uh, we playing uh, masinko, like a violin, uh, but the system we playing uh, down. And this is uh, strings from horse hair. Uh, and the goat skin and wood, calyptos tree or other indigenous trees. And the drum, we call it kabaro, and also that goat skin also with the stick uh, we playing. And other also we play krar, this bass krar. This is inspired uh, from bass guitar. Uh, after that, a lot of young uh, people playing, but this one is by Robel, an amazing playing, uh, this uh, five strings, uh, Bass crab, we call it. The other is lead crab and uh, seven string. Uh, so uh, you can listen this instrument. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, uh, I'm happy to introduce this instrument. Thank you.
So now that you know the individual instruments, let's start the live music. The first three songs are dances from different areas in Ethiopia. And uh, Milako, can you please explain a little bit more? Thank you very much, dear Tom. Uh, so now uh, we see the instrument. Uh, now we uh, it's coming uh, the dance and uh, the singer and my instrument together we make uh, life and so uh, in ethiopia we have you know more than 60 different language and more than 84 different dance and our work language or the only alphabet in africa called amharic uh, so we wish to show you all the dance in 84 but matter of time and now uh, three dance we have the first dance called gums uh, that's uh, uh, imitate of horse and uh, to you know the dances uh, mostly what we have and uh, like agriculture and hunting and for war and for weeding example and my when is I'm uh, a child and all the time uh, if I want marriage uh, I can't choose myself uh, they, my family choice for me. Uh, so even I don't we don't love each other. And so uh, the only thing is music and dance and uh, or holiday or wedding dance. And there is a people circle and dancing a kind of competition because I'm dancing to attract behind me who is choosing me. So, and if she's interesting, she jump on in the middle and, and dancing and with the face expression if we understand, we out the circle, we discuss, and after she will tell her family, I will tell for my family, because of the body language, we can marriage what we love. So dance is very helpful. So I will invite you these three dance, and uh, Gums, the next dance is uh, uh, Kunama, the third dance is Ago. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Thank you. 
was wonderful. So the next artist is what Melaku likes to call one of the legends of Ethiopian music, Sayum Tilahun. And uh, Melaku can introduce him better than I can. Now, uh, I'm very uh, happy, honored to introduce you an uh, amazing legend artist, uh, Sayum Tilahun. He is an amazing from police orchestra. He has amazing adventure in a dark time. Even uh, before police orchestra, he's starting working in Asmara, Eltra. And uh, he's uh, also is a military, uh, he's singing there. And he come back uh, joining uh, uh, police orchestra. They did an amazing, a lot of, also he has Sikistin uh, Oromia uh, song, Sikistin single song also around uh, six albums he has. So, and uh, we grown up with them song. Uh, but in these days, we know the song, but we don't know the person. They are around. So that's one of the idea also. We invite the legends. So uh, new generation to enjoy with them. I hope you enjoy it. He's an amazing legend, uh, artist, Siyum Talaun. Enjoy. Thank 
ካል ገባ እንደ ፈለገች ወደሳ ምጆን ይስታል ናይ a wonderful song and it is so special to see older performers get along so well with the young guys Milako seeing the musicians wear masks and uh, the singer wear gloves brings up an entirely different topic one that the entire world has to deal with that of COVID-19. We all know how it affects our personal lives. As a musician in Ethiopia, Melaku, how does it affect yours? Yeah, I think this is uh, uh, affecting especially for artists. Uh, the first one, especially in here in Ethiopia or in Africa, because there is no uh, support uh, uh, from the government and we have night life working and this way we survive but all things is closed and the same time also artists we have a responsibility for the our society for uh, to make awareness so uh, that's why uh, we keep it also mask and uh, to uh, make awareness because uh, difficult uh, people know to know what is going on so that uh, is not easy as to perform, uh, to breathing, and uh, also, uh, yeah, and uh, it's difficult, but uh, we need uh, people to have example what we did and uh, to make awareness for our people. And yeah, it's difficult. Thank you. Milaku, when we first talked about this presentation, one of the goals, aside from providing a good time, was to raise funds for an organization supporting some of the most vulnerable people to contract COVID-19. You suggested the Enaradada Foundation or Helping Hands Foundation. What made you choose them and how can you describe what they do? Yeah, uh, uh, why I, I chose them? Because uh, as I said before, the first uh, victim because of COVID-19 artist, we said. Uh, but when I see in Radada, there are old women, old mother, fathers, uh, and also this uh, uh, COVID-19 affecting all the people. These people already, they waiting help before when is the world peaceful you know i mean there is no covid 19. now 
even everybody is uh, stop working and uh, difficult to uh, help them uh, they don't find it help these people they don't have children some of them amazing story they lose them big children because of many reason and now uh, they waiting that uh, uh, orphanage and they don't have food uh, plus and uh, this time they should uh, announcing people stay home but they don't have uh, food they can't uh, stay home and when they go out affecting by this uh, by this uh, covid and so uh, really uh, i feel crying and I, I can't do nothing i want to do something but i can't do nothing and when you uh, told me uh, to to ask him give me to uh, find uh, when i explain uh, about them and uh, yeah i'm very happy to introduce you uh, to help them and because we are can run we can even speak and but these people they can't go anywhere and very hard because uh, when they work really hard some of them the history they are a teacher some of them uh, some of them they are soldiers some of them an amazing life they have life but now nobody reminds them that you know this orphanage Neradada, uh, giving a small small food they are more than 300 uh, old peoples as uh, when is uh, before closed they call them to uh, working little bit to prepare a spicy and uh, cotton and uh, handcraft uh, they can sell for them to produce some income generate but in this uh, in this time they can't move they can't work and uh, so dangerous that's why i won't really see them around uh, to have something for them yeah thank you Melaku. you explained any data better than i could I would like to add a few words. As I was choosing images to talk about Enredada, I saw the similarities of poverty across the globe. I wanted to show, just as an example of what Enredada does, an image of house maintenance. Now this photo reminds me so very much of what I see daily coming from either of three highway exits into my hometown, Berkeley, the home of one of the finest universities in the world. Well, look at the remodel. Affordable and with available material, though still no running water, no plumbing, no electricity, same as in Berkeley. And Redada's mission is to provide not only material, but also, and predominantly so, social support. Providing meals in the community setting alleviates not only food insecurity, but also loneliness. The coffee ceremony, as far as I'm concerned, one of the most beautiful Ethiopian customs, provides great coffee and a chance for a good talk. As Melaku said, apart from loneliness, the feeling of not being useful is one of the heavy burdens on the shoulders of elders. And in Erdara, supplies the means for them to financially, to participate in the financial making of their lives. And Erdada also provides basic literacy training and connects elders to the most basic medical services. And for preventive purposes, they even run a sports program for elders, such as running or Ethiopian. So all in all, there's a lot to be learned from Eneridada. So if you can, please consider 
to support them. Thank you. We now want to continue our program with two songs by one of Milaku's most favorite musicians and a close personal friend of his, Gema Bejena. We will play two songs, one a instrumental composition that I had to shorten a little bit, and the other one, one when Gema sings himself. Milaku can tell you much more than I could about Gema. Wow. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm uh, very happy and to uh, say uh, about uh, artist, composer, legend, Girma Bayana. He's an amazing legend. Uh, he wrote a lot of compose, a lot of music, and he's very active for many legends, Alamayo Shati, Minili Kosanacho, many legends. Uh, after when he lost his wife, he uh, also politics change. He ran away from the country in the US. So he's so sad when he, lose, he lost his wife. And he stopped music. And nobody started thinking because also here, everybody uh, fighting for survive, uh, politics or economy. And, but he's starting work in gas station in the US and nobody know him. But uh, his, his story is long. I can't explain by this uh, small time. And after uh, he come back in Ethiopia, after 32 years, the first time he play in Fandika. And the next day he play national theater. And, and after that we, travel in France, we perform together, an amazing, and so he's also a big heart, he's sweet, always alert to learn from him. He's coming also live, uh, the first time in his life in playing with traditional instrument, he sung in Fendika with Ethio color. That's an amazing, in honor. And so I'm just to uh, inviting you a little bit, but I wish you you all, you Google and about his life story. So fascinated and so sweet person. And I will, I hope you enjoy it with his music in internet. You can find a lot. Thank you very much.
so special to see Gemma in this intimate environment. Well, we would like to continue with another one of the Ethiopian legends, Aznaka Gebreas, a singer with unbridled energy. Melaku, what do you say? Yeah, thank you very much. Yes, Asnaka Gavreyes is amazing uh, legend. He's working also uh, again from police orchestra late 80s. And also he has amazing uh, revolution, uh, revolutionary song. His album, uh, 28 years ago, is an amazing album he has. But also, as you know, Talahun uh, uh, his uh, soul of Ethiopia. And he's inspired a lot of people. Also, he's singing also uh, his song, uh, Asnaka Gavreyes, and a very powerful, uh, as you said, and uh, you will enjoy it. Asnaka Gavreyes, one of my favorite singers also. As a way his expression is especially in face to face, in life to see him is incredible. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
As I told you, bundled energy. The next song is one that Milako described to me as Ethiopian rock and roll, Guragenya. Milako would also like to take this opportunity to introduce the members of this incredible group. Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. And uh, uh, I, I'm glad to introduce uh, my partner, dancers, uh, a special, they are very special uh, woman dancer. Mabit uh, Welded Sadik, she's an amazing spirit of Fendika. She uh, learning dancing in Fendika. And also she's starting as a waiter. She found her talent. And at the same time now she traveling with me all over the world and uh, she bring for the group the, for the band new energy new uh, spirit and uh, her, another partner dancer legend uh, the nights a guy she's working with me more than 20 years together and all over the world she's an amazing dancer we have a lot of to do and all over the world uh, still uh, we try our best and addis abraha also he's an amazing uh, partner uh, with me in dancing. He's an amazing uh, choreographer, dancer. He's working also Ras Theater. He's traveling also in Europe and an amazing dancer. Of course, the singer, yeah, as i telling you, we have uh, Oromo, Amara, Tigre, Kunama, Walaita, different language. And so he's, he did a good job with us traveling. Elias Ahmed is an amazing singer. Of course, uh, Nardos or Wute Tesfa, her passport name, she's when she keeping the mic and so is uh, uh, amazing energy giving for people. She's always laughing, singing. She's uh, from Azmari family. So we are very happy. Uh, you understand what I mean when you see in the stage and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Super.
and Ethio Color, thank you so much for the songs and all the fun you gave us. This was really uplifting. We are now coming to the end of our program and I would like to end it with a more serious piece you created. The last few months have been difficult. Not only has Corona taken over, but also many deep conflicts in our societies, in Ethiopia, the United States and other parts of the world came to the forefront. And I would like to show you this statement of Melaku and ask him to read it. I can't please. I feel the pain of so many brothers and sisters all around the world. I'm lucky because I'm still breathing. As long as I can please, I will dance, dance for hope, for justice, for peace, for freedom, for humanity, mine and yours. Thank you, Melaku. You have created a beautiful and very thought-provoking piece. I call it the George Floyd song. It is mostly self-explanatory, but I would like you to tell us what you thought when you created it. Yeah, as you said, it's very deep. Uh, this uh, uh, cooking inside and a lot of um, way what is going on, going on in locally, internationally. Uh, here in our society, a lot of uh, problem right now with ethnic problems, racism, and plus coronavirus, and all over the world, what we hear, uh, many things is very difficult, but especially George Floyd, when it's happened about him. And all what is going on about humanity. Here also, uh, again, about conflict between religion, Muslim, Orthodox, and very uh, uh, not together, and uh, Muslim alone, Orthodox alone, uh, Christian alone, and all this fighting. So that's, I'm, that's why I'm lucky I can breathe, I said, because of my dance. 
I can breathe and I use it uh, religion uh, to make together for peace, for love and for humanity, for our planet. And I feel the pain, George Floyd. I, I feel the pain, all humanity suffering for justice and all that to explain, try to the feeling explain through uh, my dance with uh, my friends, musicians and dancers, of course, my beautiful audience and all together this way, uh, I believe to change the world through the art and art is important. You don't have uh, racism, you don't have an all just for human, for animal, for plants, for anything. So that's why and I, I try to my express and contribute my feeling. Uh, this element, I put it. Thank you very much. No justice, no, no peace. peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. I'm 
felt by so many and the anguish caused by injustice so very palpable. Thank you, Melaku and Ethio Kalle, for asking from all of us to open our eyes. Well, that brings me to the end of our program. I hope you enjoyed it. I had a great time. I want to thank Milaku, Ethio Color, and all the performers, as well as the camera team from New Breath Productions for their great work. I also want to thank all the donors, and in particular, Dr. Horba and Vermont Oxford Network, to make this possible. And I want to thank Andy Warner for putting it all together. Thank you, and goodbye. Yeah, thank you very much uh, to give me this chance. And I want to say a few words and uh, uh, about uh, f uh, Vermont Oxford Network and amazing support and to give me this chance. And thank you for Jeff and Daniel is amazing hard work. Thank you very much. I want to give a special thanks for Dr. Thomas, or dear Thomas, I want to say my way, and to introduce me with Vermont Oxford Network Special and uh, Jeff and Daniel. And uh, I love you all. And uh, thank you to support Ethio Color and Fundica, uh, what we have struggling uh, to express our feeling, you bring us light and sun and to continue and to achieve our goal. And uh, I mean, in these days, we don't uh, think a big uh, project or thing is just about survive and to express and uh, to be and share love. Yahoo! especially now this crisis, for justice, for unite, for peace. When Ethiopian people say Yaho, everybody come together. Yaho, Yaho. Please say with us Yaho, okay? Yaho, Yaho. Now hello, now hello, now hello. Navalo, Northern, Navalo, Southern, Navalo, Eastern, Navalo, Western, Navalo, Humanity, Navalo.